Look, everybody wants to change in their life. You know, maybe you want to be a writer or you want to be a YouTuber or maybe you just want to stop being so single. Well, there was a book that I read about six years ago and in this book, the person recommended one daily practice that I have since done almost without fail that has led to the biggest changes in my life. Now, in this video, I want to share exactly what that one philosophy was that takes one hour per day. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. Now the story is told by Earl Nightingale, an old personal development speaker, and I think this is from the 1950s, where he relates a story that was told during the Great Depression. And he said that a person was passing a group of steel workers, and the steel workers were on their lunch break, and this was during the Great Depression where a lot of people were unemployed, and they were all complaining about, life is so hard, I may lose my job, and if so, I don't know how to find a job. What's going to happen if I lose it when I go home to my wife and to my kids and I can't provide anymore? And Earl commented that these steel workers were only working really like a 9 to 5 essentially. They still had that 5 until 9 or till 10 or until 11. And he was saying how these people, what were they doing over the last 20 years of their life in their free time? They still had 8 extra hours per day. And even if you dedicate half of that 4 hours to your family, that still leaves several hours to improve yourself. And in Earl's words, these people could have become open heart surgeons in the amount of free time they had over the last decades. And for me, the thing he recommended that clicked the most was this idea of dedicating one hour per day to improving your life, or one hour per day to acquiring a concrete skill that can lead to a better life for you. Now in this video, let's talk about specifically what that can mean and how you can do that. All right, so what does one hour a day really look like when we're not giving a fitness example? So let's say right now you have a job and it's something you hate and you want to go into an entirely different field altogether. But since you didn't go to school for it and since you don't have experience in that field and you don't have any skills in that field, how are you supposed to do that? Well, if you started dedicating one hour per night after your job, you could still watch Netflix, you could still hang out with whoever you want, just dedicate one hour per day to doing the following over six months you could end up in a totally different career in a higher paying job. So let's say right now, maybe you're an accountant and you realize you wanna be a programmer. Well, the first thing is you have to research. What do programming jobs look like? What do they require? And what are the skills that I have to have in order to make this a reality? So the first hour of your day when you come home, either it's the first or dedicated hour per day, you figure out one hour in your schedule I'm going to research what it takes to get into the programming industry. The second hour per day after let's say 30 days could be dedicated to actually talking to people in that field to see what programming is like. Now the biggest approach that I'm a fan of is actually emailing or cold calling people and saying, hey, you know what? I'm really passionate about this and interested in this field. Do you have five minutes where I could buy you coffee, five minutes for a phone call and to learn or share with me what the industry is really like? I did this before coming to Chinese medicine school. I called up 15 acupuncturists and they gave me advice that was pure gold. And then your one hour per day from then on could be literally practicing the skill of coding, actually coming home, learning how to code, code a website, code an app, learn how to change button colors and buttons and how to click things. Basically, you're dedicating one hour ideally to a concrete skill that's going to help you live a better life. That skill could just as easily be the skill of listening to people or going out and talking to people, or working on personal flaws in your character that you think are holding you back from accessing that next level, or the one hour could be the gym or cooking. It only takes an hour a day to actually change your life. Now, I've personally used this for all of the above here. I've used it for writing every one of my books. There are now five on Amazon. That's like 700 pages written, including all the editing and the revising, hiring people to do all that, all of that was in one hour per day that I dedicated to writing when that was done, to hiring an editor and working with her through all of the books, doing the audiobook, doing the Kindle book, going into the studios to record those all in an hour a day. It took an hour a day to also get fit because if you average out the time that I spend in the gym and cooking, it works out to about one hour per day, seven days a week. And I've also dedicated an hour a day in my earlier 20s to getting second jobs so that I could afford to still travel even if I wasn't making a lot at my job. 
So if you think it takes a lot to change, you might be wrong. What would happen if you just dedicated one hour per day as your daily habit to whatever it is, whatever part of your life is not working for you, is not happening? If you dedicated one hour to improving that, your life could be dramatically different in as short as 100 days. What's up, guys? I hope that helps. The one hour a day philosophy has made a really big difference in my life. Now, the best way to stay in touch is to go start that seven day weight loss challenge on my site. You could also go to modernhealthmonk.com forward slash free, and that'll redirect you there as well to download it. Otherwise, you can watch the last videos that came out here, and you can check out the goodies down in the description box there below.